day 1086 uh it's 7 25 a.m i'm about to go to the gym i am in burbank right now uh in a parking lot uh of a shopping center uh just did my warriors of god call uh i drove to the gym this morning and i was like five minutes late like i could have definitely gone into the gym but i just felt like nope i i need to do something i i need to like spend some time with god or um i don't know i couldn't explain it it was just like i it's just like nope so normally i would just park in the neighborhood right over there and then sit there but i felt like i wanted to come over here and there was a starbucks over here and i was going to go into starbucks and i was like nope just sit in your car with god so i parked in like the target parking lot and uh then i end up starting my words of god call and and it's oh, it was so good it was so powerful talking about who jesus is and um and then all of a sudden, like, there's a knock on my window and I look over and it's a cop. And I'm like, what's going on? And, and then all of a sudden there's another one on my other window. I'm like, guys, hold on for a second. Turn off my video and my, and my audio. And the other one's like shining his light in on my computer. And I roll down the window and I'm like, hey. And he's like, what are you doing? And I'm like, oh, I'm just, I'm doing a call, uh, a group call right now. And I said, before I, I go to the camp and he's like, what's the camp? And I was like, oh, it's, it's the gym down the street. I'm gonna go there after I do this call. And he's like, yeah, so you know uh, your tags are expired, right? And I was like, ah, yeah, like my tags are expired uh, for my license plate. Um, and I was explaining to him how I don't have my California driver's license because I need a proof of residence, but uh, I don't have proof of residence because I can't get mail sent to our address because we're on a month-to-month -month lease and blah, 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 blah. Uh, you know, all of this stuff. And, um, and yeah and he was he was really nice about it and he was like hey you need to get this taken care of because if a certain i forgot what kind of cop but he said if this kind of cop pulls you over like they could easily just tow your car and i was like Ugh. okay and so this just reminds me which i was talking about this morning on the call i have not won the battle against the the spirit of slothfulness the spirit of slothfulness is is laziness mixed with absence of care like my tags have been expired for a long time uh, I still only have my Colorado driver's license. I should have my California driver's license. And it's just been this absence of care, like, ah, uh, I'll deal with it at some point. I'll deal with it at some point. I got other things I need to worry about. Like, I don't have time to worry about this. And that leads to that irresponsibility. It leads to that laziness. And then what I just realized, it leads to my confidence being messed up. Like, it's embarrassing to not have my tags, you know, taken care of. It's embarrassing uh to it just crushes my confidence to not be a responsible adult about things like this and it's something i've struggled with my whole life with this spirit of, of slothfulness just an absence of care and laziness because it's gonna take a good amount of work to get all this stuff done and make it happen um and it's probably gonna cost a lot of money too so uh it was just like and then i got back on the call and then uh, told everyone on the call and and I was like, guys, this is gonna be a future testimony. I was like, okay, God, I think I, I see why why you brought me to this parking lot this morning. I don't know why I had that feeling, but now I know like you're telling me, Chris, hey, get responsible with these things. It's time to take care of the stuff. And, and it's like, yeah, but God, I need the money to do it. And it was just like this feeling, take action, the money will show up. Um, because I had some clients that were gonna be paying this much a month and then one of them downgraded, another one lost like a hundred grand in, in crypto and so he had to cancel it. So I was, I did think I was gonna be making $7,000 a month and now it's gonna be closer to like 3,500 or 3,000, which is just gonna get me by with my bills. So I'm gonna have to get some more clients and do all this other stuff. And so the financial piece is a little, a little, it's not stressful, it's just, it's, what it is um and so yeah that was that was an interesting experience and i was really grateful i was on the call because he probably would ask me for my license and my insurance and all these things my insurance i don't have freaking car insurance right now i tried to get insurance and the way it is in california i was working with uh, an, an insurance broker and he's like yeah they've changed a bunch of laws there's a bunch of regulations now the insurance companies are pulling out of california like some something's crazy is going on with the car insurance um and uh, so i tried to get some insurance because mine expired and it was like they need a this they, they need to see your lease so i sent them my lease of proof that i live there um but then they're like nope it's a month-to-month -month lease they need something that's longer and it's like well i don't have that like how am i so i can't get car insurance because i don't have a lease and since when does a car insurance company ask you for your lease like that never happens but now in california the insurance companies are just it's being 
it's being it's been more difficult to get insurance and a lot of them are uh demanding like six months up front like i don't know there's something in the insurance company the guy was explaining to me like that it has shifted a lot in in california and so uh, so just things like this where it's like man i got enough stuff on my plate to to think about these things and these are the adulting things that i need to figure out and i need to take care of um and i just need to bite the bullet and just deal with it um and so i'm taking this as a sign from god to hey get it done deal with it um and so the warning is loud and clear thank you lord um and i'm grateful that those cops just left and let me jump back on my call because uh yeah it could have been worse they could have given me a ticket they could have seen that i didn't have insurance and i don't have a california driver's license and my tags are expired like i'm sure i would have gotten at least a ticket for something um and so i'm very grateful that god did whatever he had to do in that cop's heart to just say hey let him do his call let him get back to it so um but it's just a reality check of like chris you have not defeated the spirit of slothfulness like you had it against the ropes and then you let off and it's time to get back on it and and step into it and become responsible again and, and do all these things and i haven't like done anything horrible it's just i haven't been as committed um to certain things i've been crushing at the gym still still eating healthy like that hasn't changed um but just like with getting things done and and all that so but that's the spirit i gotta fight so i'm back on it and that was a, a really good warning and wake-up call that i'm gonna take very seriously from god so uh yeah that was crazy though Whew, thank god i was on the call <laughs> uh, thank you lord